all those eager late shorters that were you know doing their homework or you know quote unquote looking at charts that were, had really extensive moves to the downside. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody had a great uh, Father's Day weekend, just an awesome, awesome weekend, uh, family time, uh, daughter's birthday, beautiful weather, a lot of food. Again, what, what else can you ask for? Um, anyway, guys, let's talk about the market. The biggest question was going into today's session, if you watch the nightly video, was after the 3.5% decline in the Dow Jones Industrial Average and a really aggressive slide or at least potential slide on the SPX, the question going into this week was, was the NASDAQ 100, which is pretty much a rally very aggressively, uh, just in the last two and a half, three weeks, really great action. Was the NASDAQ 100 going to pull up the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, and the SPX to, reserve, to resume its rally? Or was the Dow going to finally pull down what was a really aggressive rally? And again, what you saw last week uh, was pretty, you know, pretty, pretty ugly. I mean, it felt like every single day, uh, it felt like every single day the Dow was going down, it felt like every single day the SPX was going down. So these were legitimate, uh, legitimate issues we had going into today. And I'll tell you one thing, this is how you know, important the bulls were uh, defending prices. Um, and just like that, we got our answers uh, very, very quickly, nearly a 600 point uh, increase today in the Dow, uh, the spies. Uh, had a really, really aggressive day. And you can see here, just kind of from the point of reference, and we talked about this area here a couple of times, right? Here's the area here, this uh, area that needed to be defended right at the bottom of the channel. It held once, twice, uh, Friday it tested, and boom, again, here we go again. The market started rallying. So uh, the bulls are uh, very much alive uh, and kicking. The, the demise uh, of the market was uh, forecasted a little bit premature and yada, yada, yada. Here we are, you know, four days till the long 4th of July weekend uh, that the market is back on track. Now, before everybody starts taking out their pom-poms and just starts screaming, let's buy everything, let's go over some things here. So the one key component that you will notice about today's session was anything that got destroyed over last week had a very, very big rally. So if you look, for example, uh, you know, names like Goldman Sachs, right, that went down literally, just, just got destroyed uh, for the last week or so, had a big, really big run. Financials had a really, really bounce back session. Uh, and you look at a lot of the groups that did exactly the same thing. But financials, obviously, uh, the notable area because it's one of the more important cogs in the whole overall ma macro market. The one thing that we didn't see rally today were names that had really big runs over the last couple of weeks. So we look at names like Amazon, right? It rested today. Look at names uh, like NVIDIA today. And, and big shout out to uh, Roan uh, in the live webinar. I gave one of the biggest pivots today uh, by far, one of the biggest movers today at the open. We'll get into the individual pivots in a second. But you'll notice names that had really big runs. Those are the names that kind of did nothing today or kind of had some profit taking. So it wasn't like one of those scenarios, the market's up 600 by everything in sight. Again, all the leaders uh, that had big runs, they kind of rested, right? There were a couple that had started to stretch out again. We'll get to those in a second, but you kind of get the point. Even names like Boeing that were really dead in the water today had a really, really big move. So again, remember, it doesn't take a lot for the Dow Jones Industrial Average to be up three, four, five, six hundred points, only 30 stocks. And if they all go up three, four, five dollars after a week, a week and a half of you know complete destruction, there's your scoreboard, right? The biggest challenge going into tomorrow's day is number one, a lot of these names that rally today are nowhere near kind of quote unquote buy spots. They were very aggressive, uh, dead cat bounce, they were very aggressive sessions going back into supply. But if you look at a name like Boeing, Boeing really needs to reclaim this whole area here just to get out of the woods. When you look at a name just like, for example, like Goldman Sachs, all Goldman Sachs did and is still trying to do is going back into the 50-day moving average, 
where it started to broke started to break down um, in the first place, right? And if you add that with another possible res day for an Amazon that had a huge run, uh, for a name, for example, uh, like a Facebook that had a really big run, like a name like Nvidia that had a really big run, for tomorrow's session, again, it's a healthy thing. It's not, it has nothing to do about opportunity for, for just the point of kind of catching your breath for all the leaders not to go up too far too fast. You might be looking kind of a, at a contraction zone tomorrow for the NASDAQ 100 names, for the Darlings, the 100 names. But for the overall market, as far as market health, market breadth, what we saw today was very, very constructive. Now, again, the, the devil playing devil's advocate, advocate, you could turn around tomorrow and say, well, well this was a really big uh, dead cat bounce day from the Dow and the S&P 500. Yeah, maybe, right? We, we have no idea knowing. We, we could only digest the information that we have and kind of formulate a game plan for tomorrow. Now, when you look at, when you go through your charts today, yes, you will see some good opportunities for tomorrow's session. So for example, Roku has been on a monster, monster run, right? Uh, big pivot on Thursday, huge follow through on Friday, big, big move again today, right? So you have this, you have this really big runaway train and we started seeing uh, 415 uh, weekly calls coming in, uh, 415s for the next week coming in. So there's definitely opportunity in the technology space. And yes, we have to focus and continue to focus on names like this or any weakness tomorrow uh, on a Roku into rising 60 minute support, a, a buy has to at least be entertained. Uh, a name like Apple who had a really great breakout above this 28 and a half, 29 level last week, digested this whole move, really never sold off, held and bounced and reclaimed the 50 day moving average. Now we're looking at this, you know, this top of the range here again. So this thing can go. Uh, a name like Letter U that we talked about on the weekend update had a really nice move today is maybe one or you know maybe a day maybe two days away of reclaiming this channel and maybe going on another big run so you have to start looking at other places maybe like a bcrx right some names that maybe are not you know to ev being everybody familiarized with every little thing so there's going to be opportunities just because how good the market is but i think counting on a name for example like in the video or maybe counting on a name like Tesla, which I was a little bit disappointed in today. Uh, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. But there's definitely going to be opportunities on, on the long side. I, I truly believe, and we saw this today uh, in the webinar, when the market's starting to get hit, and you saw you know, pretty big pulls uh, at the open in a lot of these technology names. The first thing I, I had to reiterate, you know, again, it's not a short, right? You might catch a pivot to the short side. But there's a difference between a stock moving uh, moving down off of a major run than a stock going lower, right? The Dow Jones Industrial Average for the last week and a half was going lower. A name like NVIDIA this morning just went down and it reclaimed key levels and is moving higher. So again, it's a very, very easy way to turn around and say, well, let me have an opinion. Let me paint myself into a corner and let me paint in that direction. And anybody, I'm telling you, anybody who shorted into the hole today, at the open in technology, they got run over. These stocks went red to green. Uh, a lot of names started reclaiming major levels like a Roku, like an Apple, uh, like an AMAT finally woke up uh, from the dead. Even a name like Boeing, who started reclaiming levels, all those eager late shorters that were you know, doing their homework or you know, quote unquote looking at charts that were, had really extensive moves to the downside, they got caught upside down very, very quickly. They retained levels. And next thing you know, you had a, a major rally uh, in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So I think going into tomorrow's session, again, you have to be bullish until until the reason that technically the market turns around and says, look, you know what? There's a buyer strike. We don't want to go higher. Uh, stocks are being upgraded. They're going lower. Stocks are being coming out of ranges. They can't follow through until you're having that conversation. And by the way, keep this in mind. And we talked about this uh, on the weekend video. A, a lot of people are off this week, right? I, I think slowly but surely, uh, I would say half of my buddies are, are gone this week. Uh, if not, all of them are going to be gone by Wednesday, Thursday. So you still have that lack of volume follow through. But if you look at a name like Wish today, like I mean, a really, really great move today. And a lot of you guys uh, I know are still long uh, after the close and that $14 level reclaim. We'll, we'll get to the pivots in a second. But more important, there is speculation money. There are names that are trading 330 million shares. This thing traded 330 million shares, and now it's looking for a $15 you know, confirmation for tomorrow. The, the bull market is alive and kicking, and the most important part is stop looking for the cute trade 
to the downside just because you think a stock is going to reverse. Stocks don't cute, you know, cute reverse uh, in a rabid bull market. All they do is go back to their rising 60 minute support trap and then go right back up again. So be very, very uh, careful with your due diligence and your opinion uh, for the rest of the week, especially if you get a lighter volume session with more exaggerated moves on very, very uh, specific stocks. So let's talk about uh, today's session. Um, let's talk about today's session here. Here we go. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay. Yeah. So here's, ironically, here's my last trade of the day, and it just didn't work. They were, they were coming for the 650 calls on, you know, 650 calls on Tesla. I got long, it went up a little bit. And the one thing that I do know about Tesla, if it stalls out, you got to get the hell out of Dodge. So it stalled out. I wound up losing a dollar, but okay, it's it's completely irrelevant. Uh, but that's the one thing. If, if Keep an eye on Tesla macro for the, next week. Any close over 335 can send this thing higher. But again, when you saw the thing stall out, guys, the most important thing is get the hell out of Dodge. And if it starts re, you know, reclaiming bigger levels at a later point, feel free to go in. But again, don't play around, especially uh, with a name like Tesla. So uh, Roku, Friday's pivot 354, a uh, huge move on th Friday, 371, 372 needs to confirm uh, for more on Roku. Roku went nuts again. Uh, it took out 54 from Friday and then went all the way uh, to 386 today. This thing looks higher. I still like this thing. Anything on dips for tomorrow looks great. Uh, I think there's a shot at season at the 400s. Uh, by next week, if the market continues to be good. Uh, Square never got to the 240 level. AMC never got to uh, 65. Uh, Zoom never got to 375. That was the whole point. A lot of these stocks were resting. AYX never got to 86. Uh, letter U, beautiful move. Uh, 10650, 107 uh, needs to build. Still valid. Here is letter U, right? Here is letter U. It took out this 106.50, this whole range here. We talked about this on the weekend video. Uh, 106.50, 107, and went right to the next supply zone at 110. I'm telling you, if this thing can reclaim 110 and some big option flow could come in, there's another 8 to 12 points in the trade. So we definitely got to keep an eye on this uh, IU for continuation uh, for the next couple of days. Let me get this thing out of the way. So I like that as well. Nice move there as well. Airbnb never got to uh, 155. CPRX never got there. FVRR, I didn't watch this FVRR, so I forgive me. I don't even know what the hell it did today. Uh, FVRR, 27 and a half, 28. Uh, looks like it went to 231. If you're in it, God, God bless. It's just a little uh, little too thin for me. Why do I keep on hitting this damn thing? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it ran up a couple of bucks. If you got it, congratulations. Uh, NVTA, uh, 33 needs to build, right? NVTA, 33 needs to build. Went to 3360. Still like this thing going higher. It's just going to be a very... Uh, slow mover. Uh, pen held uh, 73 times daily. If it builds below, can flush. Here was pen, right? Here was uh, pen, right? Here's pen. You see the 73 level, guys? Keep an eye on this thing. This little thing has held 73 several times. And if this thing finally goes through the 73, I think it's going to waterfall down. So keep an eye on pen. Uh, NVIDIA. This is definitely, Roan, congratulations for all you guys who caught this. Uh, very aggressive setup for experienced traders only. Uh, this thing held 734 twice on the 60 minute support. If it builds below, can flush with a dollar pain, a dollar max pain. Uh, and the video got absolutely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Here is the 6, uh, 734 right here. 734 right here. And it just went all the way down to 712. Congratulations, guys. For all you guys who took it, Roan, fantastic job. Again, this is a perfect example. Uh, perfect, perfect example of somebody picking up the pivots very, very quickly. Does everybody do that? Absolutely not. Uh, but when you do, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And you can identify these things uh, pretty aggressively. OSDK never got down to the second entry for 75. Uh, NVIDIA take on the way down. Again, destroyed. Um, yeah, next move, you know, Roku just went absolutely nuts, went all the way to 86. ISRG, not a big mover, um, you know, went to, you know, went to like 902, 900, not a big mover, but I still like this thing, longer, very, very thin stock, uh, too thin for me, 108 pushing, 109 pushing, da, 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 110 pushing on that, 900 on deck, again, like I said, way too uh, thin for me, uh, and yeah, so the funny thing is, uh, earlier in the day, I caught a remount on Tesla for a couple of bucks to the upside, and and I gave back a dollar towards the end of the day. But other than that, again, uh, the market continues to be uh, very, very strong, right? Continues to be very, very strong. Uh, today's rotation uh, out of the stocks that got destroyed 
uh, back into uh, you know the old school kind of leaders was valid. I think you might run into a lot of uh, potential stocks resting tomorrow just because if they continue with the leadership one more day of rest, but there's still a lot of names that you can take advantage of if you do your research and be prepared for tomorrow. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I'll see a lot of you guys tomorrow. Take care.